Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Sunday, December 1st, 2019, November already behind us. College football regular season for the most part is done. We've got college football conference championships next week, and then of course, the bowl games. But today, a free play coming up in the NFL. We'll get to that. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. Click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or any one else over at DocSports.com, and it comes with a Doc Sports guarantee. Can't beat that. $60 free account. Again, all you got to do to get started, click on the link below the video. All right, uh, we're kind of in the middle of Saturday night action right now as we speak. Uh, we're currently sitting at 2-1 and one in college football for this week. I've got one game in progress, LSU at the half, and uh, then we've got a, another game that is yet to kick off, uh, the game on the islands between Army and Hawaii. We'll catch up all the records on Monday. Monday's video. Uh, so that's where we sit going into Sunday's NFL. And in the NFL, I've got three plays to go, including Sunday's six unit play in the NFL. You know how well we've done with these plays. And then how well we've done with NFL overall 83 and 55 is our current NFL run long term. As you know, going into Saturday, uh, we were on a nice 26 and 14 run, college and pro football combined, which is 65% winners over the past six weeks. So we'll look to continue the winning ways in the NFL. Uh, go grab it right now, including that six unit play. I've also got Monday Night Football as part of the package uh, as we close out the week with both Sunday and Monday Football. And again, all plays in the same package over at DocSports.com and football. Uh, so you'll still get my remaining three NFL plays available right now as we speak. I passed on Saturday's NBA card. It was kind of a short slate. Didn't like the games. We'll be back in action on Sunday. Plays posted at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Same goes for the NHL. College basketball, yet another day of profits in college baskets yesterday. Uh, we had the seven-unit winner on Friday. Came back yesterday. We split as far as going one and one overall, but we made a nice little profit uh, with the bigger play of the two cashing on Saturday. I'll have college basketball at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Sunday, and uh, we've started to find our groove now in college baskets this past week so don't miss out as we head into the month of december and again the football is available right now including that six unit play in the nfl red hot run in the national football league don't miss out on this week's card all right like we do every week we like to talk the betting report and to get a full update on the betting report be sure to turn in to tune in to espn national on sunday around 12 30 eastern 9 30 pacific i give a betting report from the desert we talk about it globally and both with casinos here in Las Vegas and uh, we're on each and every Sunday throughout the NFL season again this year it's like six or seven years now and uh, but tune into a, a station near you and uh, if you want that betting update where the sharps are where the Joes are and uh, everything in between every single Sunday 12 30 Eastern 9 30 a.m. Pacific ESPN National but we do like to feature where games are where the betting report is as of Saturday nights when we talk about Sunday's NFL. Right now, the biggest uh, bet percentage game, ticket-wise, and we're not talking about the game that's drawn the most bets overall, but the biggest percentage being on one side in the NFL right now is the Green Bay Packers, who are laying six and a half to the Giants. Green Bay getting about 85% of the tickets in the public action in that one. As far as the biggest percentage of money on any one side, right now it is on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, laying a couple of points at Jackson. Jacksonville, Tampa Bay getting about 80% of the money in that particular game. Joes versus pros. Well, guess what? It happens to be our free pick. And I'm going to side with the public. The public's on New England. A little bit sharper money so far is on the Houston Texans. So-called sharper money. I don't like the Houston Texans in this spot. I know New England's got a bunch of flu problems that they've been talking about all week. They've got some guys who are out. They've got place-kicking problems. All of that. But they don't have the Brady-Belichick connection on the Houston side of the football field. And this New England defense, I think, will be able to make life tough on Deshaun Watson, one of my favorite quarterbacks on and off the field. But I don't think he's going to have a whole lot of time to get things done against this Patriots defense. Outcoached is what's likely going to happen here, and then outplayed by the New England defense. 
And with this number being down to three, few adjustments made here and there, plus uh, so-called money coming in on New England, it's a situation where we like New England here at minus three. So that is our recommendation, our free pick for Sunday's NFL, the New England Patriots at minus three. We don't want to pay, uh, pay over three, but at minus three, the New England Patriots are the free pick. All right, listen, that's going to do it for me for Sunday. I'll be sure to check back here Monday morning, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Let's put Sunday in the wind column right back here Monday morning.